It started uh, prior to 1987, so, you know, it was just over 30 years ago, and I was uh, working with the ABC, and they said, oh, look, come up and do this project up at Warringah. And uh, because the elders had wanted, this is people connected with Warringah Media, or Warringah the Aboriginal Corporation, wanted to uh, uh, start a media service. So I said, yes, great, I'd love to do that. And uh, so I, I logged into Kananara in uh, sort of early 1987, and we got started. Love the idea of what people are doing. Um, the development has just been fantastic. For others in the town, I would say, what an amazing achievement. So you've all done very, very well. Um, an asset through the Kimberley with Warringo Media, and of course that was the first Aboriginal media in that area, in the Kimberley. And when so. we first started it, it was, um, it was an idea that I brought back from uh, Karma Radio from Alice Spring, because we used to listen to radio, the people used to talk in their language, the, Aranda, Pinjara and Old Lala when they used to talk that language over that side. They said, oh, come on, let's start spreading the Morong language. And we got a lot of people doing it. Young Chris Griffiths, he was one of them. Waringari Radio was an annex of Waringari Aboriginal Corporation back in the 80s. And so that corporation, there was a lot of Morong people involved as a, as a board of directors. Well, Warangari means big mob. That's the, that's the English name. It means big mob of people coming together. Warangari is that place. Thank you. 